I'm just heartbroken for these families. I have a friend in Nashville, so I knew of one of the little girls. And the thought that any of us could send our children and not get to hug them again. Mm -hmm. My kids go to school right next to a school where there was a shooting. Melissa Joan Hart, mom to three boys ages 10, 15, and 17, says she wound up aiding fleeing students. All of a sudden I saw a bunch of, a, a teacher, on the, this is the part I'll never forget. The look on her face just changed my life. So I got out of the car and I went and helped these children cross the street. Somehow I found out this was a kindergarten class and this little girl looks at me and goes, what did she say, what are we, what are we doing? Or what's going on, what's going on? Like it was literally like a mama duck and her little duck things like running across the street. 200 police cars had come. I mean the sirens, The it was just insane. It was the saddest thing I've ever witnessed. We've been here a week. In 2020, we visited Melissa at home just after she moved her family to Nashville, hoping for an exciting new chapter. Now she's reminded of the place and the other tragedy she thought she had left behind. We moved here from Connecticut, where we were in a school a little ways down from Sandy Hook. So this is our second experience with a school shooting. I went and picked the kids up immediately and they're home safe. What is happening in the world? In tears, singer Jesse James Decker shared that her three little ones were at another school just two miles away. And former Olympian Sean Johnson says she was just across the street when the chaos ensued. Why are you sad? I'm just really happy to see you. This was the emotional reunion with her two kids after getting a call that their school was on lockdown. Being a parent personally makes me feel like I've like fulfilled a purpose that I never knew I had.